Well, good morning, everybody. How are you doing on this beautiful day? And it could be pouring out rain down the outside, and I would be the happiest person in the world. Whew. My TC2000 is working like a champ. My internet is smoking, and my computer is lightning fast. And I just want to shout out, really, to everybody here. Um, I, I use a Falcon computer. Uh, Doug uses a Falcon computer as well. Uh, I actually have a Falcon laptop. They're built by Falcon is what they are, Falcon Trading Computers. And it's, it's uh, trading, tradingcomputers.com is what it is. Um, those guys are amazing. I've mentioned before that uh, their, their computers are great and their service is even better. So I placed a call to them and um, they called me back. But I was on another call, and I couldn't take the call, so I just had to let it ring. About 10 minutes later, they called me back, and bango, there we went, went to town. They jumped on my computer all the way from Wyoming. That's where they are. And they jumped on my computer. They did all sorts of things. They took it apart. They put it together. And I got to tell you, it's smoking hot right now. Happiest person in the world. And if my internet goes down i have two internet service nowadays i'm ready for anything okay let's uh let's take a look at this market all right so let's start with the spy here the spy is um I, you know it's still bullish nothing wrong with that trend right now price is above the trend uh, t line t line's above the trend indicator everything's working um we are running into a little resistance right here. You've got the 200 period moving average. You've also got this blue downtrend line. And if you take a look at the weekly chart, weekly chart, there we go, weekly chart, I can see where we're right up against that blue line and the 50 period moving average. That certainly makes me con concerned, and I certainly want to think about that uh, as I go in the day trading today, tomorrow, in, in fact, every day until something changes here, whether we break out and become more bullish or we fail and then we start moving to the downside, start moving to the downside. I believe sound is good. If sound is good, can somebody uh, say sound is good for me? Thank you. Um, thanks, guys. Um, so... I want, oh, yeah, let's go look at this. Go look at the T2122, T2122. Clearly, clearly overbought. Now, if this thing, if being overbought like this, put your panties in a wad, well, you know, deal with it. <laughs> I mean, if it does, sit on the sidelines if, if you're concerned about this. Or let's pay attention to the trend in price action. I've, I've yet to meet anybody anybody here that actually trades T2122, right, right? So let's follow the chart, okay? All right, so here's another one that nobody trades, I do not believe, T2123, T, T21, yeah. Here, nobody trades this, um, and I'm going to follow the chart, but as I look at this, it's still saying that we're bullish on the 15 minute and we're still bullish on the hourly chart. So uh, based on uh, the fact that we're still trending, there we go, we're still trending, that's what I have to follow is that trend right there. I want to show you something real quick. Uh, let's look at some spiders Look, uh, you know what? I want to do it on this chart. There we go. So here's XLE. Uh, the blue, the white line is the uh, eight exponential moving average or the T line, and the dots is the trend indicator. Good morning, Julie. Ed, how you doing? Good morning, Dick, John, Nigel, JW, Mike. It's all the names I can see over there. My, Paul, Steph, JP, Harry, Larry. You guys all. Welcome. Thank you so much for everybody being here. I truly, truly uh, 
did uh, do appreciate appreciate it. All right, let's look at these here charts. Kind of the spiders, okay? We'll just take a peek at those. But what I want you to notice is this chart. Notice that white line and those green dots, okay? Let's look at XLB trend. XLK trend. XLRE trend. Uh, XLY trend. XLI trend. XLU trend. XLP trend. SPY trend. XLF trend. XLV trend. XL IYT trend. RWR. I don't know why that's on there really. Trend. So I, I just let's just trade the trend. When 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 the trend changes to negative, then we will trade short. Long as the trend is up, let's trade long. I do believe we're at a um, an area that requires a crazy amount of caution. Okay, uh, a serious amount of caution uh, because we're at this this junction here that really really does start to uh, push the bears around. And, and if we push the bears around too much, it could kind of tick them off and, and they could get irritated. So um, kind of like uh, poking the bear. That's where we are right now. We're poking the bear. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Um, a couple of things. These, I can't remember now if I talked about this already. I don't think I have. Uh, today, we've got jobless claims, um, Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index, existing home sales, uh, natural gas uh, report. So what are you going to do about all this stuff? You know, you can't do a doggone thing. You really can't. We need to know this is coming out because to me, everything, everything news-wise, it's all about the gas pedal in your car. It's all about the gas pedal. So um, no news, we can put the gas down a little bit more. You know, you have things like um, jobless claims. What are you going to do? You're going to short ahead of it? You're going to be long ahead of it? No. But you know, you could adjust the gas pedal. Use your brake and gas pedal a little bit, just like you drive. So, so maybe we, we know there's some numbers coming out. So maybe the night before, you know, we let off the gas pedal a little bit. We let off the gas pedal, okay? All these numbers are available. Doug talks about them every day in his video report. Um, you can go to the website. Members can go to the website and pull this up. It's there for you at any given time. So uh, you can see always see what's going on there. Okay. Let's take a look at some charts uh, that I'm adding to the watch list today. I'm only going to look at three today. If you would like the full list, please go to the homepage on the website here and click right here on the Hit and Run Candlestick Trading blog. If you click right there, that brings up uh, a very nice daily blog that's written every single day. And if you scroll down to right there, that is a complete list of the tickers I'm adding to the watch list. We will also talk about these after the market opens. We'll go through each and every one of them. But pre-market here, I'd like to talk about three of them. First one's going to be toast. Let's look at toast, ticker symbol T-O-S-T. Uh, looks to me like we've got a well-constructed bottom. Uh, let's pull this up. Well-constructed bottom. I like the fact we've broken over this level here. You can see this big bullish W pattern in there. Uh, a W pattern is um, can certainly be bought anywhere in there. But a W pattern, what it is, it's a reversal pattern. So we have this reversal pattern, and we're ver reversing up. And we, we I know we were always been told don't assume anything but I'm not sure that that's correct in trading because we've got the bullish W pattern and because we've broken out I'm going to make the assumption we're going to trend higher until we don't so 
as I look at this toast right here, I'm looking at some targets. I see a target around 2385, a little target here at 2067 or so. Now it can go higher. There's nothing up here going to stop it. Just because I stopped here doesn't mean we can't uh, see a target way up here. In fact, if we wanted to, we could just draw that up. There you go. There's a 55% playground uh, sitting here. Probably ought to put one more resistance area in there. Right there. There we go. So, I'm looking at this area to be the buy box. And there is nothing wrong at all. And I just might wait for that breakout right there. By that breakout, from here, we need to get through this 2070 area. Then I think the target up here would be the 200 period moving average, followed by 26 and then maybe 29 up here. So we've got a beautiful trend. This is a rounded bottom breakout for those that uh, don't know what a rounded bottom breakout is. Um, price is above the T-line. T-line is above the trend indicator. Trend indicator is above the 50. The 50 is turned up. That's the kind of chart I want to look to trade, a chart that's trending. I know that somebody is probably thinking, uh, should we be concerned about this top? Sure, why not? I mean, yeah, really. There's nothing wrong with waiting till it breaks out to buy it. Nothing at all. N not everybody's entry has to be in the same place. Good Lord, we don't want that. Um, it, it's all about buying a chart that you feel comfortable with and managing that chart. Some fee people feel comfortable buying it one minute after the market opens, which I do not. Other will feel comfortable buying somewhere in the middle of the day because of some intraday chart. Some people will buy uh, maybe in that last hour of the day uh, because that gives proof that it held up throughout the day. So there's all sorts of things. We're looking at 55% to this top. Wow. Wow. That's some, that's money. So we don't have to be all panicked about the entry. Another one I'm looking at here is TTWO. I'm looking at 77 up here, 164, 156, 147. For about 33% to the very top, that's the trading playground up there. So let's play in the playground. That's my plan. So what have we done? We've come off this bottom. We rallied up pretty doggone big. What is this? That'd be Tuesday, I guess. Tuesday, uh, we settled down for an inside day yesterday, and then today we're setting in here on another inside day. This red area is a buy area for me. I think I would prefer it over the dotted deuce, which we're all but there. Uh, that's the red line. So up into here, there, let's uh, let me put this up there, turn this around. Whoops, don't touch that, Rick. Don't do that. <laughs> Why isn't this? Oh, look at that. All right. And enough of that. I'll move that thing later. There it is right there. There, I got it. There it is. So I want to buy somewhere in here. That would be nice. Uh, and then there's the 200 period moving average as a target. What I'm going to look for, for a buy, since we already have the pullback, let's do that again. Since we already have the pullback, then what I'm looking for is buyers to step in. That right there is what I'll be looking for. Uh, this is another one where I wouldn't have any problem buying on a breakout. All I'm trying to do is negotiate an entry that makes me happy in a chart that I think goes higher. Here's the other one that we're going to look at today is a GE. GE setting up nice. This is another rounded bottom breakout uh, for anyone interested. Uh, we've moved over the 50. We've just run right up to the dotted deuce. Look how the dotted deuce created a level for it. Uh, we, we stopped right at it, hopped over it. Now it's acting as support. Great little move sideways here. We are right smack dab in that buy box right now. I'm looking at 84, 89, 94, 97 as targets. Yeah, you know, I better put a line right here at the 200, hadn't I? There you go. 
86 would be another one. So uh, with 24% to the top, I'm pretty sure we can make some money along that way. All righty. I want to say thanks, gobs and bunches. Thanks, everybody. Um, and I will uh, be here uh, right about when the market opens up, okay? You guys take care. Thank you so very, 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 very much. Let's all have a great day. Thanks.